All right, so here's a short tutorial about changing the image when you click on different accordion title elements. Someone asked, asked this in the group, so I thought I would uh, write a tutorial about this. Oh, here I have the same image, huh? Yeah. Anyway, if you have a different image, it just switches to this image and it works with the accordion element, the toggle element, and the tabs element. So you can just go to uh, the tutorial, I will share the link and follow the instructions. Uh, I will share the link in the description. But I will also show you uh, quickly how you make this. So here I have the version that's not working. So if we have a, a preview of this page, let's refresh to get the CSS right. All right. So here it's not working. Well, it turns out it's working. Maybe it's because I haven't updated yet. Let's get this right. All right. So now it's it's uh, uh, like normal. So the way you make this is you create a section or an inner section. Like here, this is just an inner section. And in the right column or in the left column, uh, any uh, one will work, but it has to be a two column section or otherwise only the column, uh, uh, the upcoming column will, will change the, like it would still work if there was another column here to the right, but uh, for the, the best results, I think you will want to get just a two column layout. So, and it, it can be an inner section or a normal section. So here, this is an inner section. And in the column, you place your image background. And optimally, you would set it to center, center, uh, no repeat and contain. And in the left column, of course, you place your, the element of your choice, accordion, uh, toggle or tabs. And then you, you can just create your uh, your tabs and column content the way you want. And then you will want to add an HTML element. It can be anywhere on the page. So let's just add it right here. And now, so you will need to get the right code for the element you choose. So uh, there is uh, a snippet of code for the accordion element snippet for the toggle and a snippet for the tabs element. So here we are working with the accordion element. So let's just get this code. Now let's bring it here. And the other thing you will want to do is to edit the links here to your images. So this is the other important part. And, and they are in order. So when the, uh, the first link here will be linked with the first uh, accordion element and so on. And for everything else, the, the, the code will it take care of, of itself. Uh, the only other thing you need is to give the right class name to your accordion element. So you go uh, in advanced and here you need to call it accordion switcher for the accordion and toggle switcher for the toggle element. And uh, tab switcher for the tabs element. And uh, when, when it has the right code, 
then it will work just fine. Uh, you need to keep in mind too that it will it will work with the three of them on the same page, but it would not work with two different accordion elements on the same page with also a switching uh, image, background image on, on, on the other column. So for this, the, the code would need some modifications, but, uh, but you can have uh, one accordion toggle and tabs element with an image that changes and that will work fine. So that's it and here it's in the tutorial, of course. So here are the uh, proper class times that they need for the code to work. And now if we go back here and we refresh the page and we added the code for the accordion element, so now it works. And we didn't add the code yet for the toggle element or the uh, tabs element, so it doesn't work. So if we wanted these to work, because we already have the, the right class names in place, so we could just go in and copy the code and then go back to the HTML element uh, and go at the bottom and paste it. Ideally, you could merge these two scripts together, but you cannot merge the functions together. Uh, here is the function, so this cannot be merged. So the only thing really you could merge would be the, in, uh, like to remove this, the script tags. So, and the use strict also is not needed to, because it's, it's already at the beginning. So like this, you could merge it like this and that would work just fine. And now we added uh, the toggle element uh, code. So now this one should work also, and it does. And the same for the tabs element. So that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.